How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I stepped out of my comfort zone and I did, for the first time in my career, my first ever bold color piece. I decided to remake this intro because when I first did it at the shop, I kind of downplayed the situation and didn't make it seem like a big deal, you know, when in all reality, it is a big deal. It is a huge deal because I tried something I'd never tried before. It was a different kind of feeling, you know, because I'm always doing true grace, I'm always doing cover-ups, which is always challenging, and it's always, uh, the adrenaline is different. But in this situation, it was a whole different feeling. It didn't really hit me until I finished the whole piece, and I looked at it, and I was shook. I was, uh, I was, I was lost to words, you know, because when I finished and I looked at it, I realized that I unlocked a potential that I didn't even know I had in me. I called my fiance and I told and I told her, I was like, you're not gonna believe what I just did. And yeah, uh, and that is why I decided to remake this intro so you guys can understand how I'm feeling throughout this whole video. And I can't wait to show you guys the way this tattoo turned out. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> A perro tranquilo, desgraciado. Cate, un Boy. Let's get it. Yo, as soon as I walked in here, I heard you turn it up. I was like, oh. you're like, you we are going to get on today. Do you drink caffeine? Ah, uh, no. No. I think I am caffeine, bro. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> I knew you didn't. Like I it. should be the logo of Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should be. Change it. You ready for this, shit, bro? I'm so ready. You know what's fucking crazy? What? Well, I was in the bathroom. Yeah, doing my bathroom thing. <laughs> your session. Well, your look, morning meditation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, that's some real shit. That, that early morning meditation. Hell yeah. In the bathroom, like this with this whole Mario thing, right? Uh huh. When I was a little kid, so me and my dad were like, we were homeless for a little while, right? I don't know if they have them here, but like in the Midwest, like there's a house and then like there's a, a like a front door, like screen porch thing. Okay. It's so like where people like kick their shoes off, stuff like that. Okay. And we lived in one of those for like six months. And so it was, so it was just us, the bed, a little TV at the end of the bed. And they let us have like, or, and they gave us like a, a, a Nintendo. And when I was a little kid, I was probably like two or three years old. Uh huh. And I would wake up and I would play fucking Mario every morning when I woke up at the end of the bed. Wow. So I was like, yo. The and then you brought up Halo right at bro. Like that is meant to be, bro. It's yeah, I mean the whole time, you know, because it's such a unique, such a unique concept that it's not for everybody. It's only for a group of people right. that are into this kind of thing, you know? Right. And when I was customizing, um, I was like, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna like it. All I, all I know is that I'm gonna put 100% on this design. If he doesn't like it, it's okay. You know, I got yeah. backups just in case. But as soon as you saw the theme, right. I was like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost like a, a Law of attraction, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. Because like I told you, I did not come up with this concept until a few hours ago, <laughs> yeah. you know? And, and the fact that I felt so good, as soon as I put it together, I'm like, I felt it on my bones and I was like, this is it. Like, I'm going to kill it. Like, I, I know this concept is going to be amazing. I've been talking about core memories like all day to people. And so like, when I, I was like, holy shit. Wow. Like, this is gold content right here. <laughs> this is golden content. You see that? <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't know what's going on right now. No. The energy I'm is high right now. Oh man, this is too Mexican. <laughs> no, no, it's not at all. <laughs> you know, I was thinking yesterday while I was driving in my car, if I had this like music playing, uh. And I pulled up like next to some Mexican cats, like what they would, if they'd be no, they like, would think? yeah, like if they'd fuck with it or be like, fuck that guy. Like, Bro, I feel that if you were to pull up, listening to this music, they will probably get hyped up, bro. Like, they'd be like, shit, bro. 
There's, there's nothing more exciting than somebody else listening to our kind of music. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, because I think there's a difference between making fun of it and actually enjoying the music, you know? Yeah. And I feel like we can feel when somebody is genuinely listening to the music, you know? And we're like, man, that's my guy right there. That's yeah. my friend. <laughs> You're invited to the carne asada automatically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Ay, desgraciados a la bambi, pero cuando tú haces caso? Ay, 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 esa mujer llegó. Ay, ay, ay. All right, here we go. We're going to put on this tenso now. Uh, what a stencil, bro. I haven't even peeled the stencil and I already like it. Oh, shit. Look at that stencil. It already looks very saucy. Quite meticulous purchase your shirt on my website <laughs> <laughs> hey that's a good plug though <laughs> that's a perfect time oh oh satisfying mm. yeah First thing that I'm gonna be doing with this piece because it is out of my comfort zone. It is not something I do on a daily basis. Like a lot of you know, I do specialize in cover-ups and true grace. Doing a full color piece, it is something that it is, uh, like I said, out of my comfort zone. But all I know right now is that I can execute it. All I know is that I know how to do it and I know how I'm gonna approach it. Once I catch my rhythm uh, with this piece, I'm just gonna take off. But all I gotta do is get this piece started and kill it. I'm excited. You should be. I'm super excited. I'm super stoked. Let's go. Let's get this shit. Let's get it. <sighs> Here what I'm doing is just transitioning into my lighter green to start giving it more dimension to this, uh, this area. More to look at. And one thing I do want to talk about is uh, knowing your limits when it comes down to stepping out of your comfort zone, you know, because it is something scary, but also know what you're capable of. Me here stepping out of my comfort zone after looking at all my tattoos, after studying a lot of how to apply true grace and how I do it, I realized that I am capable of doing this, you know, I am capable of doing this kind of piece and stepping out of my comfort zone. I feel, comf I feel confident. I am nervous, but in a really good way, you know, because I, I know that it's something new, which is very exciting. It definitely requires a lot of preparation for me to get to this point. And I encourage you guys to do the same if you're thinking about stepping out of, me, stepping out of your comfort zone, you know, in the near future. So yeah, I encourage you guys to step out of your comfort zone, but know your limits. I'm using um, a 14 round liner right now, Needles by Ambition. Uh, I have a link on my description if you guys want to purchase some of these cartridges, they're amazing. And I'm using a 14 mile liner, and I plan on using a 14 mile liner throughout the whole piece. The only areas that I'm going to switch needles are going to be when I do the background uh, or when I do the sharp uh, corners on the, when I get to the mustache or the teeth, that's when I'm going to switch to my 7 mile liner. But for the most part, I'm going to be using this uh, 14 mile liner. And like a lot of you know, I, I probably use this needle. <laughs> in every single piece that I do and that is because I'm super comfortable with it and yeah Thank you. 
Don't cry, Kenny. <laughs> no, you're a Kenny. Yeah, there is two different kinds of music. Like this one is pretty like like how I did it. Very emotional, very. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> then you got mariachi, which is like. <laughs> we are now. I'm ready to move on up. And what I'm gonna do right now is start with the background uh, here. The reason why I wanna start with the background is because I wanna see how dark I can make the outfit look, you know? So I definitely wanna start with the background that's gonna let me know how dark I can go. But my goal is to start with my blue here and start fading it into grays and then into black. That's my goal right now. So let's do it. I'm gonna start first with the blue that I've been using to set the mood, you know what I mean? Start uh, setting myself up. Perfect. Hola, baby. Now I'm gonna go into my gray. As you can see, I just dabbed it once on, in my gray. That way it starts getting a little bit, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, dim? Is that a word? Dim? The what? Dim? Is that dim? a word? Yeah, dim getting is a word. Dimmer? Yeah, when you're trying to like dim the lights, if you will. Oh! Yeah. You know, set the mood. Set the mood. Now, when I'm, me, when I'm explaining this process, I am not saying that this is the only way to do it. There's plenty of ways of doing this uh, transition, but uh, I'm doing it this way because I know it's gonna benefit me. So like I said, this is not, I'm not saying that this is the right way of doing it, but this is just the way I'm doing it. Yeah. And I'm just dipping it in my medium gray. Going from my blue to my medium gray. As you can see now, it's almost pretty much gray at this point. I can still see a little bit of blue in it, but it's very minimal. So at this point, since I see that it's a pretty much gray, I'm ditching my blue now and I'm just going to dip it just on my medium gray. That way it just, it's just true gray at this point. Right now I'm using my 11 curve mag with a voltage of a 5.0. All right, now that I am here, uh, now I'm gonna start transitioning into my solid black now. One dab on my solid black, and it's still gray, but there's a, a small little change in it, and that is just good enough for me to start layering it and doing a smooth transition. I dab that again, and now you're starting to notice more changes in this tone. Uh, so I just got done with the background and uh, what we're gonna do here is eat, <laughs> eat some food because we are getting exhausted now and I think it's a good uh, point to stop. Now when I come back, I'm gonna be able to start doing Mario and focus on that because I already have the background. So 
<sighs> Alright, let's get some food, my guy. <laughs> Right, for this area, I am gonna uh, explain my process. Uh, I'm gonna explain basically what I'm thinking, because like I said, we are stepping out of our comfort zone, but I gotta find my, my rhythm right now. I am gonna start with my darkest point on the chin. That way I can find my rhythm and figure out where my contrast is. So first thing is first, let's get this brown in. Perfect. I do have two different needles. One where I'm going to be using my darkest tones. The other needle I'm going to be using it for my lightest uh, tones here. So this is probably my favorite, uh, my favorite pigment. So I'm I'm gonna use this as like my base to create my uh, my shapes of the face and the wrinkles. We learning together today. And I am using my 14 round liner to execute the whole face. I feel like it's gonna help me a lot. I'm very comfortable with this needle, so I do feel like it's gonna help me to create those textures with, uh, with this pigment here. I guess the way I'm approaching it is just pretending that I'm using my true grace, to be honest. As we get closer to the chin, I'm noticing that on the bottom here, it starts to get a little bit like a reddish tone, brownish reddish. 
I've seen a few artists that specialize in color take a whole different approach and uh, as I was watching them I I felt like before I, I wasn't brave enough to execute to try color because I was watching them and I, I could feel myself getting frustrated because the way they were doing it it looked so complicated and you know I uh, I just kind of started thinking to myself like you know what maybe I should just do it my way the way I think it would help me and the way I would execute it and that's when I started thinking how would I approach this in a way where I can do a, a good tattoo you know and it's all about thinking how how would you do it you know that's the real question like how would you execute it so maybe this method might help some other people maybe some of you might be looking at me like no man that looks too complicated you know and that is okay you know at the end of the day it is what you feel like it would help you if you can take you know one uh if you can take one thing that i'm doing from here and apply it to your tattoo that's great you know but if you don't then you know at least uh you kind of got an idea of what it's not going to work out for you so you're getting something out of this for sure The way I'm gonna be approaching the mustache and the eyebrows is by using um, a three-one liner. And I'm gonna be doing layers. First layer is gonna be with my solid black. Second layer is gonna be with my brown. Third layer is gonna be filling in those little gaps with uh, my lightest brown. And at the end, wherever I'm gonna need white highlights, I'm gonna apply it, but not too much, just enough. Probably a few strings of hair, that's it, not too much. Same thing I'm with eyebrows. Ooh. Long ass day, my guy. What time is it? What time is it, Jesse? It's almost 10. Nine, nine it's almost 10? 9 for you, yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> nine hours of tattooing today? Nine hours of torture? I wouldn't mm. say torture. You wouldn't say torture? Nah. Okay. Because okay. there's that, you know, there's that slight little sliver of fucking twisted fucking dude in my head that's like, Give me more. Yeah, let's go. Lowercase. In lowercase. Let's go. Boy. What's what's your other what's your other catchphrase? Uh, oh, wait, don't say it. Let's get this day started. Damn it. <laughs> let's get this day started. Let's get this day started. Come on, dude. Let's go. Almost there, my dude. Almost there. Let's get this day finished. <laughs> let's get this day, let's get this day finished. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Ah, my dude. What are we doing? Nothing. 
We, we're done. <laughs> oh, 100% now? 100% we're done, Damn. bro. Give me two claps and a Ric Flair. Speaking of sick. <laughs> you made it, my dude. Let me fucking. <laughs> Start doing the splits in there. Yeah! Oh, dude, I will. <laughs> dude. This is amazing. Thank you again. Next. That's crazy. Halo slash fuck Mortal Kombat. Oh! Um, maybe a little Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes! Who else, Andy? Who else? Uh, video games. Street fight, what? Oh, yeah! Oh! <laughs> bro, you, you owe me a whole box of needles, bro. You right there. I, the, more than that, too. Though. You owe me a whole <laughs> box of needles, bro. What is this? How about I get you two boxes of needles? <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite soda? My favorite soda? Yeah. I don't have one. All right, what's your favorite beverage? Beverage, I'm going to say horchata. All right, I'll do that and get you- That uh, shit sounds fire, huh? Dude, a diet horchata. Fire! <laughs> this is what nine hours and stepping out of my comfort zone looks like. <laughs> All right. Mr. Reyes, Inc. Dot com. Dot com. Buy merch. Meticulous merchandise. Can you go see cop it? that. Go get the hats. Go get the t-shirts. I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for coming back and watching this brand new video. And I hope you guys uh, learned something because as I was doing it, I was also learning and I was also going, I was just going with the flow. I was just doing what I thought was going to help me to execute a great tattoo. Like I said, I did watch a few people execute, execute color. You know, I was watching all these different artists, the way they do it. And I was taking the things that I liked the most because everybody has a different method, has a different uh, approach on doing full color, and I think it's super complicated. And that's why it was so scary, you know, for me to uh, actually do it. But until that day, I said, you know what? I, when I was putting together the design, my initial thought was, let's just do a true grace with hints of color, because that's what I'm used to. Something hit me, and I felt it in my bones, and I said, let's just do a full color. You know, that's what I, I told myself. Let's just, let's just go all in. Full color, you, I feel confident, I feel comfortable, and I feel like I can do it, you know? I told my client and I said, do you trust me? He said, I trust you. So we went for it, you know? And I'm just very happy for the future. I'm just very happy and I, I feel like this is gonna open up a new door for me. So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.